Joey quickly presses the release button for the doors and windows of the house. She grabs her cell phone that was in a bag on the table and staggers out of the room. She runs from there and reaches the end of the hallway. She sees that the door leading to the library is now locked with a chain. Frank manages to eliminate Abigail and leaves her lying on the ground as dead. Joey calls her son and leaves a message on the answering machine. Frank appears and walks slowly towards her. Joey tries to attack him with the wooden stake but is pushed away. Frank throws her up with great force. She tries to defend herself, but her efforts are futile. She is thrown to the ground again. Frank grabs her by the neck and hangs her on the edge of the balcony. He says that after killing her, he will go after her son. Abigail saves her. She asks to join forces with her, because alone she cannot defeat Frank. In exchange, she will let her leave the house alive to see her son again. Frank arrives where they are. Abigail advances towards him. Due to distraction, Joey manages to hit him with an iron bar. She traps Frank with it. Abigail jumps on him. She punches him, then lands a double kick knocking them both down. Abigail quickly gets up. With her ballet steps, she lands a kick to Frank's face. Frank counterattacks and violently throws her against the ground. Joey tries again to strike him with the iron bar. Frank blocks her attack and pierced back below the shoulder. Abigail quickly regenerates from her wounds and gets up. Frank leaves Joey trapped on one of the wooden columns of the library. Frank goes to face Abigail again. Abigail manages to land blows on Frank. He falls to the ground. She tries to deliver another blow by jumping from the stairs, but being weak, she is grabbed, and Frank bites her neck again. He drains her completely. Frank leaves her lying on the ground and goes to Joey. He bites her because he plans to control her. He wants her to go after her son herself after becoming a vampire as her first mission. He orders her to stand up and impale Abigail with the wooden stake. She walks towards Abigail as if she were under Frank's control, but she suddenly attacks Frank as she is not under his control. Frank again manages to block her and throws her away. However, this gives Abigail a chance to grab him from behind and try to bite him again. Abigail is thrown to the ground. While Frank holds her, Joey blocks him from behind with the iron bar holding his mouth shut. Frank falls to the ground. Abigail, with the wooden stake, tries to pierce him in the chest. Joey comes to help, and together they finally manage to finish him off. Abigail thanks her. Joey wonders why she hasn't transformed yet. Abigail says that since Frank was killed, the transformation won't happen to Joey. Joey then leaves. Abigail doesn't stop her as promised. Before she can leave, the girl's father appears. Joey gets scared and fall on the ground. He growls to scare Joey. Abigail tells him to stop it, saying that Joey saved her. Laser doesn't listen and lets out a terrifying scream against her. Abigail doesn't intimidate herself and convinces him to let Joey go. He then says that she must hurry because dinner time is approaching. Abigail says goodbye to Joey and says she'll see her around. Joey finally manages to leave the frightening place of death. She enters her van and drives away from there. 